Hey there guys, how's it going? Uh, sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but yes, unfortunately, the Twitter account for the JP version of Dark Road has tweeted out that, yeah, which could you have guessed it, the version <laughs> is going to be delayed, the finale itself is going to be delayed, unfortunately. Um, but, look, we kind of knew this because, I mean, it's, in my mind, there was no possible way that they could have met the initial expectation of late September, given how Union Cross ended, without heavily, heavily, heavily slashing the quality of the game. Um, so, I mean, it's the old... Miyamoto quote right, it's like that the bad game is bad forever, but the delayed game is a chance of being good. I'd rather people experience Dark Road in its best possible out like best possible way. So despite the fact that I'm disappointed, obviously there was that part of me that was huffing the hopium thinking like, maybe, maybe it'll come out. Um but so yeah, transition to Copium now, now we're into okay, look, I mean if it comes out by late my, by the end of the year, I'll be pretty happy because that's where my expectations have been since Unigross got delayed. Um, we can't really get any more information out of this. All they've said is that, yeah, like version 5.0.0 is coming out, was meant to be coming out in, in September. Obviously, we're currently halfway through the last day of September. It's obviously not happening, so... Um, but they haven't given us a window for when it's going to come out, which to me says that it's still pretty far away. Um, which, again, we could have really expected, given that the patterns from Unicross's finale. But, yeah, um, we can't check for any further information on, like, the notices. The notices have been... Okay, so if you aren't following, like you weren't following the game back in the day, they would always post new information about the live service game that is Union Cross um, on this notice section right here. So Union Cross's section has been completely and utterly nuked when the game went to its offline state, completely and utterly gone. Um, the Dark Road section at least still exists, but they took away almost all the notices, but now there are, but they left three behind that basically said, okay, you can still get the app from the App Store. Um, it's going to its offline state, which basically means that all the content from Unicross will be gone, but um, it's transitioning to, again, the theater mode only, and you can still, you know, the game will still exist, I guess, at least. Um, and then in, when version 5.0.0 rolls around, Dark Road itself will be playable again, and the finale will come out. Gone. Those notices are now gone as well, so I guess they're just trying to, like, be like, all right, look, we'll give you more information when it's ready, which, again, we could have expected. Uh, Global's much worse. Global, there's no notices whatsoever. I'm pretty sure the entire, like... Uh, domain itself has completely been nuked from orbit so yeah hopefully i think i think some people archive the notices just for all time's sake but yeah unfortunately we're getting more information out of that but look we kind of could have expected this like i did catch a screenshot way back then um new video check this new video out but yeah i did grab a screenshot way back then basically saying like look um the game doesn't really have a chance of coming out anytime soon because of how union cross went down basically like in february they say look it's going to take us two months to get Union Cross fully shut down and transitioned from its into its off online to its offline state and give you the finale. Then another five months later, we'll give you the end of Dark Road. Did everyone forget that like it's the same team that are making Union Cross that made Dark Road, right? So it's like if Dark if Union Cross itself gets delayed, Dark Road kind of has to get delayed as well. And so it was about by the time it was all said and done, by the time the global version of, of Union Cross came out. The finale came out and then it transitioned to its offline state that was about the end of june so minimum an extra two months of delay from the announce their initial prediction saying it's gonna take us two months to get union cross done that bloomed out to four months which has to eat into the dark road development time as well again unless they heavily heavily cut back on the quality of that update so it's like my expectations are at the end of the year because i'm like okay well let's say september 2021 at the minimum two months, because the predictions were so far incorrect, right? At the minimum two months that you spent developing uh, Union Cross onto that 2021 date. So now we're at the end of November 2021. And the prediction initially was so incorrect, right? So let's say, let's be generous and say it's only one more month um, that it takes extra for them to develop Dark Road, Dark Road's finale and making it offline and making it playable offline. Now we're at the end of the year. So it's like, I'm being kind of generous thinking like, okay, if it's out by the end of December 2021, my expectations are in check. And again, I've been covering Union Cross content and Dark Road content for a long time. Like, it's not unreasonable that people will think, okay, they said 2021, so uh, September 2021, so it should come out in September 2021. But I don't know, my expectations have always been like, when, when that app is downloading to my phone, when the update is downloading to my phone, then I will trust, okay, it's finally here. Like, we have no guarantees. Even if they tweet out the morning of, hey, it's coming out in a few hours. We've now known that could be incorrect, given given the Union Cross's well, uh, the penultimate Union Cross update. So it's like, <laughs> I don't know. Just take everything they say with a grain of salt. Again, they haven't given us a window for when the game will come out, which probably means that it's still a fair, fair while away. Which, look, 
I don't know. I mean, it sucks, and no one wants Dark Road. Like, believe me, no one wants the story to be told more than me. But like, I don't know. I think it's it's the alternative is this this right? Like, the alternative is this. Um, we have these like cool little cutscenes for Dark Road, right? And Union Cross, where the characters like talk to each other, they walk around, they like move and speak, and have little unique facial animations every time something happens. But something has to give. Again, it's a tiny, tiny little team making Union Cross and making Dark Road. And at this, you know, when episode one came out, it was like they were ju somehow juggling between making an entirely new game. Obviously, the gameplay is whatever, but they were making an entirely new experience, developing the story for that, developing the story for Union Cross while making like I think they were halfway through Wreck-It Ralph at that point. So they're like constantly making all these assets, and they somehow got the global version for uh, for Dark Road out simultaneously in Japan and English. But eventually, something had to give. Like the, the episode two got delayed a week. And then episode 3 did this. They got it out at the same time. But, like, they went from this cutscene style to this, where it's, like, back to the sprites that are completely static, but then, like, they have a fade transition between them. It's, like, ugh, I'd, ugh, I'd rather you just, honestly, rather you just delay it. To be perfectly honest, I'm almost hoping they redo episode 3 for, like, all the crap they did like this and have, like, when it's finished, one final complete experience start to finish of just, like you know, a good quality title, because it, it can catch you off guard, like, this really cutesy art style, like, when it, when it, bam, it hits you right in the face with those feels, like, it catches you off guard because of how emotional, I don't know, like, your, your guard's, like, let down, because it's this oh, happy, cutesy little kids game, bam, funeral, bam, tragedy, bam, child murder, it's like, <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really hoping that when it does come back, I don't know, it's, it's a really high quality experience, and I think that, the delay sucks, but it's not coming out in late September, which means they didn't rush it, so just take your time. Hopefully developers aren't in, you know, grinding themselves to the bone to get this thing done. Hopefully it's just happy little nice time for them. So, yeah, again, I really hope your expectations aren't hurt by this because, again, if you've been following me for ages, you know that I err on the side of, like, keep your expectations low so that they can be overcome, and that's, that's a better feeling than having them being let down, right? A little disappointed in people that, I guess, given the benefit of the doubt, they're probably just excited, but, like, there are some people that probably should have known better that shouldn't be saying Dark Road's coming out really soon, because we have never had any guarantees of that. Until so the update's in your hand, there's never any guarantees of that, but, I mean, I guess people are excited, but, well, you know, what can you do? But, yeah, when you guys think it's coming out, like I said, my expectation is I'll be happy if it's by December 2021, and any earlier than that is fine, but, yeah, hopefully, I don't know, what do you guys think? I mean... I don't think it's coming out any earlier. I don't know. I don't want to set any expectations of a different time than that. But yeah. All right, guys. That's enough rambling out of me. Um, check out the new story video. I've got a uh, black box one. And I want to do something kind of cool after that. So yeah. Please give this a watch. Let the algorithm help him along. But yeah. Thanks so much, guys. And I will see you real soon. All the best. Bye.